This is Mary. Mary is 75. She's losing her autonomy because of walking difficulties with cognitive decline and falls. Her doctor thinks Mary is developing Alzheimer, Parkinson, cerebrovascular disease or hydrocephalus. Her brain scan shows increased fluid volume with dilated ventricles suggesting hydrocephalus and reduced brain volume suggesting brain atrophy. Alteration of cerebrospinal fluid circulation can be better diagnosed by additional tools such as a tap test or infusion tests to measure ICP. Cerebrospinal fluid is produced in the brain and is reabsorbed in the venous system mainly through tiny sponge-like granulations. If granulations are permeable, fluid outflows freely with low resistance. Schematically, permeable granulations can be illustrated like a porous dam that maintain intracranial pressure under control not to damage brain function. But if granulations are clogged, fluid outflow is altered due to increased resistance. Clogged granulations behave like a less permeable dam, intracranial pressure is not sufficiently dampened. That might damage brain function. Infusion tests show that Mary has altered cerebrospinal fluid circulation. Her doctor thinks a shunt insertion will normalise intracranial flow. The neurosurgeon said X an adjustable pressure valve in order to customise the improved dam to Mary's needs. Thanks to CSF shunting, Mary improved her gait and autonomy. Bring a hydrodynamical solution to CSF circulation alteration. Sophisa at the heart of the brain.